Monday Night Football prize picks, Lions and Raiders. I'm Sniper from DFS Army. Let's go ahead and look at some prize pick plays for today. Smash that like button if you tailed yesterday's play for Sunday Night Football. Mooney gets there on the first play of the game. Eckler took a little bit, but the game script we talk about come through, so we cashed that. Had a big day. The rest of NFL, NFL and DFS Army for our members could have been an enormous day, except the Bears don't target DJ Moore even once in the fourth quarter. So a fantastic day goes to what I would call a good to great day, you know, uh, up unit and profit on units and profit on both sites. Make sure you come check out everything we have at DFS Army. Your link is below. Your code is Sniper20 for your 20% off. It's under 30 bucks a month, but let's go ahead and talk about this game. Let's get to plays for today as it rolls on. Lions are seven and a half point favorites, minus 350 in the money line, 46 and a half point total in this game. We use the Proptimizer. Proptimizer is so good. It's got its own merch. Check it out up here. Make sure you, if you want want the merch, by the way, that's the Sharp app. It's a sports betting sister company of DFS Army. I got a link down below for that as well. Or follow me on any, any one of my socials. We'll get you set up there with some sports betting winners over there too. Winning all around at DFS Army and the Sharp app. I am going to go with the top player. As you can see, the board is pretty tight. This tool is updated live throughout the day, so hopefully more things do open up. As of right now, only two plays in the green, and our projections don't even agree with the Jameer Gibbs play, and I, I passed on it. So I'm going to tell you where I'm going to go for this morning for the morning content. I am going to go with Alex Hanslone, more than seven uh, tackles plus assists. You get a push on seven, obviously. Caesars has over seven and a half at minus one and one. You're playing, paying a little bit of juice. There is more on the over, uh, obviously. But he is the Lions' leading tackler. And go to the last five here. His recent games, two over, three under. Come up one short uh, against the Falcons and the Ravens. I do think that early in this game, the Raiders are going to try and slam Josh Jacobs in there. And that's when linebackers are going to come through with more tackles. That is kind of what I expect in this game. Let's just actually zoom back out a little bit here. That is what I expect in this game, at least early, before the game script changes when Detroit gets the lead. I'm going to talk about that in a second because it kind of goes with the second aspect of the play. But Lions leading tackler against a team that is going to try and run the ball with Josh Jacobs early. I don't know how successful they're going to be, but I do like Alex Anzalone more than seven tackles plus assists to go with the odds plays here. So rolled, rolling through, I wanted to play now. Got to give you at least one um, Raiders play, obviously, to make it the, the pair because I play live unlike some people. I won't point out names, but there's plenty who post their stuff here who are not playing. Um, Josh Jacobs the receiving yards. We got him projected over, and I kind of like that because I think the Raiders are going to have to throw late in the game. But I think they're going to try and run early. I think they fall behind and have to throw the ball late. So I don't like this under receiving yards prop. Uh, rushing yards, it's right right on the mark. Um, odds are pointing towards the under, and we got him projected over. It's a weird one. I almost took Josh Jacobs uh, here but I'm going to go a little bit lower. I didn't like the Marcus Peters tackle. Again, I think um, uh, Jacoby Myers got him projected over on receptions. This wasn't a field goal prop I wanted to mess with. So basically, I came down here and I wanted to go with one of the super, you know, another superstar. I, I did actually, I passed on Josh Jacobs and I'm going with Devontae Adams, more than 74 and a half receiving guards. It is a big number. Um, sports book for the most part, have it at 75 and a half, all but FanDuel anyway. So you get a yard there, a, a yard against 74, 75 isn't the biggest deal in the world, but we've seen the hooks come through time and time and time again. So at least Vegas is projecting us over the 74 and a half. And our projection model has him at 85.9, basically 86 yards. Pull up Devonte Adam here. Um, Adams. Finally getting weird against Green Bay and New England. The targets were way down, four and five. But look at some of the other games. The games where they're losing, actually. These are the two games in the last five they won. Look at the games they lost. where They have to catch up. Bears, seven for 57, 12 targets. Chargers, 13 targets. Steelers, 20 targets. Just feeding the ball to Devontae Adams. It's kind of what I think is going to happen here. They are underdogs for a reason. I think they get behind and they have to rely on 
you know, get away from Josh Jacobs in the run game and have to throw to Devontae Adams. This game could be a lot of fun. Adams versus Amon Ross St. Brown, who I think is questionable. I expect him to play, though. We'll see what happens there. I do think that eventually, though, like I said, the Raiders are going to have to throw, and that leads us to uh, this prop here with Devontae Adams going Vegas has him over the 74 and a half. So does our projection model. Good enough for me for a morning play where, like I said, the board is pretty tight. So we'll do our recap here. Alexander Lone, more than seven tackles plus assists. Devontae Adams, more than 74 and a half receiving yards. Make our play. Lock that in. Looking for two in a row for the NFL primetime games. That's what I got for you guys. Smash that like button if you didn't already. If you cashed yesterday or you're going to tail today, hit the like button. Make sure you get in the DFS Army for all our picks and the tools. We don't just give you ticks, picks. We don't just give you tools. Got everything down there at a really great price. Sniper 20 for 20% off. That's enough of the promo, though. Appreciate you guys watching the video. Hope you liked the content. And it's your daily reminder that whether or not you are a DFS Army member, you probably should be. But either way, good luck in those contests, and I will see you next time.